My name's Lolita Divale, and I am an artist. I mostly like, at this point in time, working with paint as my medium. I love, love, love oil, and I love watercolor. And speaking of watercolors and oils, I've got a lot of watercolors and oils that I've been experimenting and playing with, and I've got this show coming up at the Winchester Center called Window Shopping, and it got lots of pretty colors in it, deals with social issues that may not be apparent and so you can look for a deeper meaning in my art or you can just enjoy the surface. I make really pretty surfaces out of really pretty colors and there's a lot of skill involved in it. This triptych right here is a, um, it's called the butterfly effect. When I go through I do two things, I you know try to make it look realistic and then I go back through and pick out these areas that look sort of butterfly-ish to me. This is from City Center, and I went down there and shot several windows. I liked the Roberto Cavalli windows the best. That's from the Landman shop. The idea started in LA. I thought that I would go down and capture more of an interaction between the windows and the uh, people actually shopping, but I found out that here, people don't really shop at that City Center too much. And sort of like the isolation uh, aspect of what I saw going on there and so I picked up on that and um, sort of went with this sort of the disconnect between the average person that's going to walk into the city center and um, what these things represent. This little outfit on this girl goes for about $18,000. Most people don't have $18,000 in credit on their card let alone spending it on one little outfit. I like the clean lines, the, the whole plasticiness that um, City Center had. A lot of my work has social statements to it, even though I do pretty work, they, so, they sort of still all have an undercurrent of a social statement to them. And again, these speak to our desires and this specifically, the disconnect between uh, the rich and uh, the normal people, normal people like me. We have these iconic looks in our society now, and you know, and, and these really epitomize some of those values. You know, clean and slick, and you know, they smell good, they'll never sweat, they'll never stink. So artists can claim that they have all of these altruistic things inside, but we're all humans and we all like attention. And you can, you can get it here in Las Vegas on a, you know, on a nice level with the way uh, the city supports arts. You can you can be a big fish here, you know, and it's it's small, sort of a smaller pond, so you can get visibility here that you can't get in other cities. Everybody thinks they're a star in LA. Everybody thinks they're amazing in New York. You know, people here, they're not so sure because I'm only in Vegas. I intend to stay here for a while. I'll be finishing up my master's. Las Vegas has not even come close to peaking. It's they've been peaking with two E's, not one. You know, not a P-E-A-K. <laughs> they've been peaking in at the art scene and people have been peeking in at us and at some point it's going to really take hold because there's there are just a lot of really good artists and people will understand that there is in fact a legitimate art community here and the newspapers won't be filled with stories of Another one bites the dust. Window shopping opens on August 20th and runs through October 14th. I've got a opening reception on September 9th from 5.30 to 7.30. Lots of artists are gonna come out. Lots of students that go to school with me will come out too. Hope you can make it too.